Hi everyone, welcome back. So I had finished up um, adding the paint and crackling this a bit, but you can't really. Uh, it, it as you can see, this turned out awesome on the side, on the back. The crackling. And sorry, I just got distracted. My straight and I on the sides. It worked out pretty good. And inside here, because this is a small area, <coughs> I don't think you're not gonna be able to see that, but it's very, very fine, 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 fine cracks that are in there. Anyhow. Um I'll be, <laughs> I've been collecting some little things to put in here, but um, the doll face, I'm going to try to, uh, I'm going to try to rust her, uh, steampunk her a bit, add the gears and that, anyhow, but that's for uh, another time, so I'm just going to take this stuff out that I have here. I'm going to find more little bottles and fill them up with stuff. Anyhow, so just going to remove all that for now. Now what I'm going to do is, before I do any, um, Oh boy. And aging this. I, I'm going to age this to see the crackle didn't really show up too much on the back of this one. Just in some some areas. I'm a little disappointed in that. But anyhow, I think a lot of it has to do with uh, the type of glue I was using. But that's okay. Um, also, what I want to do is if I'm going to put um, hinges on here. Because some of the items that I might be putting in here, like the spool, it's, it comes out a bit, so it doesn't interfere too much with whatever it's going to be. I'm going to be putting in this uh, side of the shadow box. I'm going to, I think I'll build up the edge with some um, layers of, um, how do you call it? Oh boy. Anyhow, I'm going to build this up to make it a little thicker. So then when I put the hinges on, it's going to interfere with each other. Anyhow. Oh boy. Um, yeah. So, okay, so let's get started. First, what I'm going to do to give it a, before I start distressing it, is I'm going to, um, I'm going to add some, uh, I'm going to give it a coat of varnish. And then I'm going to, then you're going to see the effects that I'm going to do with this. I'm going to be burning part of it with a lighter. Uh, be doing some sanding just to wear it down. And I'm also going to do some, uh, anyhow, you'll see. So first I'm going to just let it roll this. Just to, uh, instead of shaking it, because it'll make bubbles if I shake it. So I like, um, when it comes to liquid varnish, this is old school. I learned this a long time ago when I was doing full painting. The best thing to do is to roll the varnish instead of shaking it. So I still might get some bubbles, but I'm not too worried about it. Oh, okay. I need something. Dust or anything. 
going to put some of the varnish in here. It shouldn't take a, ideally should be like an hour to wait for it to dry before you do anything else. If you want to add another coat, but I'm just going to do one coat of varnish. Just want to make sure it's not going to melt drips along the edges. Okay. Yeah. Just to speed things up a bit. I'm going to Now we're going to do the inside. I should have put that in the water. That's okay. Uh, a smaller brush to do the insides. Now when you do the insides, it's something small like this. You just got to be careful of the build up. That you don't get any uh, 
dripping or anything because it'll dry like that. You'll, it'll dry and you'll see the drips. I guess uh, some of you, if not all of you, have heard about what's going on with YouTube and COPA and the FTC. Which has been a very stressful trying to figure out um, where to go. And uh, I'm uh, not sure yet, but I might be. Uh, I have a lot of things going on in my personal life that's costing me enough stress right now. I don't need, you know, this just, no, this is not uh, a good time to have to deal with something like this on top of that, on top of everything else. So I have been thinking about maybe shutting down my channel. Um, it's a small channel and no, I don't, not worth the risk of what's going on, so I'm just going to, uh, I will, once I've made a decision, I will come on and I will make another video uh, explaining everything to you, what my decision is, will be, and, uh, but for now, let's play. Hey, mm, just doing a, it shouldn't take too long to finish up. I like to, uh, I like distressing things. I like altering stuff. I, uh, I had so many plans, so many ideas for what I want to do. Anyhow. Just uh, let's just have some fun and play today. I really like how this turned out. This one is uh, which one? This one, a bit more greener than this one, but you know that's okay. I don't mind. See. Yeah, it's a damp day out there today. I mean, it's not. Uh, it's not cold or anything, it's just that but, uh, during the night we got some, uh, some freezing rain, not a lot, but and it's, uh, this morning when I got up it was uh, raining out, and it's been raining off and on today. So, all 
already been out. <laughs> Cleaned off my car. Well, by the time I, I went out this morning, the ice was, uh, I didn't have to scrape too much. It was coming off. I just, because uh, it was, like I said, it's raining out. Okay, so I can do around the edge. So now, uh, like I said, some of it's dripping down. I'm just trying to clean it up. I don't want any drips. size. Okay, it looks okay. The reason why I'm varnishing first, and then, um, and like I said, I'm going to bang it up and burn it because uh, it gives it a uh, gives it a better look. Like it's like it really shows that, that it's uh, warm. Once you sand it, and I, when I burn, when you burn it, like in my last video, I showed you the um, my uh, uh, my sewing uh, shadow box that I did. How I distressed it in that. I'm going to be doing the same same techniques on this one. I haven't done this one in a minute yet, so that you will, guys will see. The effect of the cutting. Uh, I really like the old, the old warm look, like on furniture, like just just by sanding something like the edge of it, to make it look like it's been handled for a lot of years over time. Done.
Let's just go along the edges. I'm just going to clean up the dripping. Like I said, some of the uh, insides of the, uh, the squares there, I probably be adding some, maybe some fabric in that to hold them in it, some uh, like burlap. Uh, we'll see. Just uh, whatever happens, happens, right? Just cleaning my brushes up before I continue. This is a, a brush soap. I don't want this to get hard. Just this I got this at a at a thrift store. Off the wall of a thrift store in the bag last year, I think. That's it. Okay. That's all you have to do. It came in a different scents. This one's supposed to be orange. And doesn't smell too orange to me, but anyhow. Okay, this is the other side. Okay, now. I'm going to dry up the insides.
Let's see. This is some of my uh, my rusted items that I made. I'm looking for a screw. Just gonna get my uh, -hoo -hoo. I want uh, hang on. I want my hammer. Hammer? What are you looking for a hammer? You'll see. What are you going to do with your hammer? <laughs> You'll see. Okay. So, um, I want to make some marks on this. Give it a an aged look, like I said. So, I'm going to ding this up a bit. Oh wow, what is she doing? You can see it a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that. I want the uh, this part of the screw to give it some, uh, like I said, an old appearance. See there? There. Oh yeah. See? Am I done? I don't know if you can see right there. Too dark, eh? Let's see. That corner. I really dinged it really good. I made a hole almost straight through, but that's okay. That's what I want. That's the look I want.
give it that antique look. <laughs> antique look. Like, it's old. It's been used and abused over the years. I'm going to take, um, now, I'm going to burn the edges, some of the edges, so, um, what I'm going to do. The reason why I write the rag just in case it uh, starts to flame. <laughs> so, here we go. Ah! I like the, uh, the burnt look. So you, you could probably, maybe, I don't know if you can see it smoking a bit. Lighter gets hot, so I'll burn my fingers a bit. <laughs> Come on. Burn the place down. Look at that. I love that. I love that look. Maybe I should bring you guys in a little bit. See the burnt look on my corner. I really like that. Does it make a difference? I like that look. 
Okay, Stray is bothering me right now. He wants my chair. Come here, you. Come here. Come here. Come here. Okay. I can't show you. There he is. <laughs> oh, there you are. Where's my stray? My fur baby. Okay. There's nothing up here for you. <laughs> there you go. He's straight. Look. Anyhow, get down. There's something he wants. I'm going to go see. I'll be back in a minute. He wants you. Hang on. Hang on, guys, I'm coming. One is scratchies. He's up on my bed. And out. He's gonna have to wait. Okay. Do some more. starting to turn brown. This is getting hot. Starting to turn brown. Come on, cool down. Just gonna let that burn a little bit, burn itself out. Okay, just uh, cool it down. Oh yeah. Oh, 
like that. That's cool. Look at that. You see that? Corner. I love the way that burnt. Okay. Now. Now, I'm committing myself now because this is the top corners. Am I going to burn some more? Hmm. Maybe. Inside here. this oh yeah look it burnt a piece right off look at that oh I don't know if you can see right here right there I burnt a piece off side here. Hey, this is not a fire sale. <laughs> hey, has to make sure that put something wet. That makes sure to stop the uh, because the fire could be into the wood. It's just to cool it down. I can take that off. Make sure it's not still burning on the inside. That's why. That's all important. Cheer. Right there, the bottom here. Okay. I don't know how well you guys can see that. Anyhow, I love that effect. Okay. Then, maybe, let's see. more Okay, so I think that's enough for this one. Okay, there. Okay. 
is so awesome. Ready? Okay. So. I'll do some now on this one. I love how the back of this turned out on this one. Okay. Here we go. Starting to smoke. I don't know if you guys can see that. that turning brown. I just don't want to start my smoke alarm from going off. <laughs> just want to burn it a bit more. Okay, some of you might be freaking out. Oh, look what she's doing! She's got this on fire! That's okay. That's it. falling apart. That's good. That's like, oh wow. I like that. Oh yeah. Really damaged this side. <laughs> Like I said, you guys got to be really careful on what you're doing. Just going to wet this a little bit more.
this just a bit just to get the color on that side. This is hot. Bring myself a little bit, but that's okay. Come on, cool down. This video is definitely not for kids. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. <sighs> Looks awesome. Okay. Um, Bit on the edge here. And then I think that'll be it for the fire sale. <laughs> Just letting it flame a bit. There it's out. There.
translate. Okay. Okay. I think that's enough. There. Warm. I just want to make sure because it's still it still felt warm. Means it's still hot inside. Okay, that's it. That's done. up a bit. Some ashes right here. There. Okay. sink. Uh, it is a little burnt, but uh, I'm a little burnt too. <laughs> That's okay. Um, Oh, and something has been, uh, I'm going to sand it a little bit here and there. So, I'll uh, be like that. Wow. Anyhow, in areas like where it's touched a lot, I'm sand this. Some of the uh, the paint off, so you can see some of the wood underneath.
little bit on the back. that much on the back because it's more flat but along the edges it's a lot easier to do this, but the effect after makes it look awesome. Like I said, beat up the horn and toss it around, put in a fire over the ages, over the years. electric sensor I can get out. Look. I don't 
it because it's going to work to good this. Oh, that's the price. This is just a piece of wood that's uh, got some sandpaper glued on there. So that's a tip for you guys. If you've got a piece of wood, you can. Uh, it's, uh, it's pretty well worn. It's going to be worn. It's going to be another piece of sandpaper. on the back here. Just want to get them off the back a bit here, this corner. This could end up being in front of it if I put the, uh, whatchamacallit, the hinges on.
That's enough on that one. I want to ding this one up a bit more. Good project if you need to get some frustrations out there. That's good. That's what I want. To get a hammer with the, with the claws on the back of it. You do some real good damage on it using the claw. what I want. That's the effect that I want. Good. Uh, you guys have got to tell me what you think of this. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, next. Hey, look at that. 
over an hour. Take it out frustration. <laughs> do after is I'll do that after I finish destroying it I'm going to uh, I'll add another coat of varnish on it hurt. This is fun. That's not so good. <laughs> but over enthusiastic. That's okay. There you go. Okay. 
Maybe this one. Yeah, this one, that's what I want to do. Just have one shelf that looks like a little coffee. What do you think? Hey? Okay, we'll see. Getting some marks on there. Oh boy. Okay, that's enough now. <laughs> Anyhow. Yep.
this one really damaged up. Woo. I clear that out. Okay. Oh, that's all the fair job to do. That's okay. Just lock it up. Oh, some serious damage on this. <laughs> I want this rag to get wet. I don't want this rag to get um, full of sawdust. one done for now. I'll finish cleaning up and I'll come back. I'll just repair do so many pairs on that one. <laughs> the overzealous See you back here another time. I keep working on this, and uh, I'll find try to I'll look for some more uh, little things to go in there and uh, please leave me a comment. Tell me what you think of this. How I. Uh, age these, give them a worn look that they, they've been through a lot over the years. Uh, uh, okay, got overzealous. <laughs> Anyhow, I like how they turned out though. I like the look of them. What I'll do is I'll put some, I'll give them a some varnish uh, and some glue to repair them up a little bit and uh, I'll see you back here. Ciao!